My name is Sumit Kar. I'm a lead scientist at Solarion. Solarion is a clinical research organization developing custom assays for COVID-19 clinical trials. Scientists across the globe are developing therapies and vaccines for the COVID-19 pandemic. Clinical trials for these therapies, even repurposed therapies, require new specialized tests. Developing these tests is a major bottleneck. Therefore, scientists are adapting to developing these tests quickly, but with robust validation. I began my research career 14 years ago studying ACE2, the same molecule that SARS-CoV-2 virus attacks in the human body. Little did I know this molecule would become so important, but it's a privilege to now be developing tests that may help in this pandemic. All clinical trials for COVID-19 need PCR assays to determine an active infection. Also, antibody and neutralizing assays are necessary to determine if a therapy or vaccine is producing antibodies against the virus. There are also essential biomarkers that can be measured in these trials. Cytokines can be measured in the blood to characterize the cytokine storm that SARS-CoV-2 creates in the lungs. These assays are needed for COVID-19 trials for patient enrollment, characterizing a mechanism of action, or determining if the therapy is working. We should also be aware of non-adequately validated assays, because a false positive or false negative can miss infections or inaccurately determine if the patient is immune. At a time when the world is looking to scientists to solve the COVID-19 pandemic, bioanalytical scientists can play a pivotal role because of our experience in using the latest technologies while maintaining accuracy and precision. We should also prepare for the future. It's a matter of when, not if, another pandemic occurs requiring rapid assay development. We can embrace new technologies that generate tests faster and new biomarkers that shorten the time it takes to show if the therapy is effective. The last few months have been challenging for all of us, personally and professionally, but I've been amazed at how we scientists are doing our part, working around the clock to develop tests and therapies quickly. And we've been responsible advocates for our profession, educating the public, inspiring young children to become scientists, and showing the world that science is how we will return to normal. I am filled with hope that the steps we are taking now will improve all drug development and save more lives going forward.